With your respect, sir, what is the lecturer comedy TV and how did it begin? <laughs> Since I've ever, it's not a matter of standing to be discussed. Let's go to an office and sit down. It's a long discussion. It's not something that you wanted to go. But if you want to postpone, I can explain about the lecturer comedy TV. Let's enter inside the office first, okay? Welcome to the lecturer's comedy TV. An entertainment platform for comedies, videos, movies, films, music, etc. Please watch our funny videos eh? and subscribe to our channel. Please don't forget to share our videos, like, subscribe, and comment for more. I want to remind you that we upload every Friday at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m., dot watch to our channel. You see all our funny videos. Let me formally introduce myself to all my fans and audience. My name is Samuel Samuel Oki, aka Competent Lecturer. I am a graduate of National Open University of Nigeria with a discipline of entrepreneurial and business management in management science. I'm from Akwaibun, state of Nigeria. I'm here in Okwika, here in River State, Nigeria. Please, I want you to watch my documentary for your accurate information because a lot of people ask me this question on social media. When did you start and how did you start? How did you manage to make it in life as it is now? So I want to refer you to my documentary so that you can be able to know what uh, exactly things that we that we did, how we started, how, how we persevered, and what actually happened. And some of the documentary, I'm going to let you know today, as the question is being asked by our inter interviewer. Thank you. Please stay tuned and listen. Comedy TV is a comedy slash movie platform of entertainment. It all began as a fiction in 2013. I caught this clear fiction when I was still a teenager, but I refused to pursue it. Every fiction that you have, you need to pursue. Is that understood? If you fail to pursue a fiction, that fiction becomes a dead fiction. It was later in 2013 that the seal and zealous was enormous and financial accomplishment became an impediment to me for attainment of the desired goals. I have worked assiduously, expeditiously, frivolously, judiciously and astutely for me to see that I accomplished that goal. But it was abortive at the initial stage. You can see I have strategically worked to achieve but it wasn't so possible for me. That was why I have to still put on more effort, put in more effort for me to make sure that I, I arrived and I reached the level that I am today. Eh? I was called by an, I was called and was introduced by an actor called the Navy Shop Umar, aka Uko Lagos. That was the person that took me to Nollywood and registered me. I collected his number through a social media platform and explain my sincere desires and ambitions to him accordingly. He then introduced me to my popular and amiable director at Aqua Edum, state of Nigeria by name Moses Esco. He is a director in Aqua Cross Indigenous Movie Association. I have registered. After my registration, I started acting a Nigerian Nollywood film titled The Bridge of No Return where I played a role of a town crier. I also re re featured in a film titled 1929 Women War. I started writing movies of mine after receiving such trainings in Nollywood such as Fake Prophets, Wicked Step Mother, Generational Cases, 
fake pastor, family deliverance, etc. I formed the first group in 2017 with about 102 artists in attendance. Due to financial constraint, I couldn't accomplish the mission and the group dispersed in 2018. That was what actually happened to me. When I formed the first group, the first group could not be able to uh, uh, stand well because of what there was no money and people saw me as someone that cannot not be able to make it. I had an indefatigable, amiable and inexorable director by name Director Belema, God knows, who persuaded me and still stood by me despite the malfunction of the group. He kept on persuading me for the betterment and actualization of the goal and dreams. Thanks to Director Belema, I wasn't disheartened with the fact of failure, knowing where I was going to. I kept on pressing forward. I refused to be settled in a mediocrity level. I formed the second group in 2019. The group could not stand. I became conspicuous and famous, yet nothing to write home about. I was called in so many churches for a comedy display. After everything, I was still struggling to survive. Though prophecies have been spoken about the future ambition that I have, that I am a star. After a series of trials of accomplishments, my second group also dispersed. That was where I knew that the world only recognized and draw closer to the happening scene. When there is a fish in your hand, that's when you see those who will follow you. That was actually what happens to me in the uh, previous days that I started this movie acting. And you see that the first group scattered and before you know I was confused. So I couldn't be able to meet up in some of those areas. I formed the third group in that year, 2019, and it all scattered. Thanks be to God that the second dignified director by name, Ike David, is still unwavering and unfaltering. The director was unwavering and was unfaltering. He didn't stop. That was when I started shooting comedies in 2019. To God be the glory for where I am today. Even the comedian friends were just joking over my comedy ambition because there was no payment and that leads to the delay in posting the comedies. I persistently recapitulated and positively formed the third group where I had executive members such as director I, David, who was a director of that group, MC Ticket, Blaman, Artist Esther, Artist Pebble, MC Pishnati, Artist Blessing, Actor Derek, Actor Uyu, to mention but a few. These people followed me reluctantly, though some are serious because of the level of the ambition which has gone so far. Apparently, for now, we are conspicuous, both home and abroad, with distinction in the ambition. God moves me from terrestrial to celestial, from a wanderer to a celebrity, from a natural to supernatural, from zero to hero, from poverty to prosperity, to God be all the glory. Actually, let's get inside the car first before we discuss, right. okay? My advice for you is that you should not relent to your efforts in your career, though it seems impossible for the starting, but be encouraged and be bold. I want you to be encouraged and be bold because sometimes it may not just be easy as you think. You understand? Don't blame your uncle. Pick up courage and be bold for the risk assessment. No matter what happened and no matter what you are facing. We call all things are possible. Stop blaming your uncles, your auntie, your relatives for your downfall. Know that your destiny is inside your hand. Destiny is inside your palm, not in any, anybody's uh, 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 career. Your father and your mother or your uncles are not responsible for your downfall any longer. 
but it is you. You have to work assiduously to make sure that you accomplish your vision that God has given to you. What you have to do, take the risk of confronting Goliath in your life and work for accomplishment of your goals. You can discover in the Bible that it took courage for David to kill Goliath. After killing Goliath, he successfully collected the ground that even soldiers could not be able to collect such ground. And he was celebrated. I say, if you succeed in life, even your enemies will be the one that will share your testimony. They will be the one. They will be the one that will announce your success. They will be the one that to announce you home and abroad. They will be the one that will con be congratulating you, even the enemies that are thinking that they hate you. So please, I want to advise all youth that you should not relent in your effort, in your career ambitions. Is that correct? Even your enemies will celebrate you. If you fail to plan, that means you are planning to fail. A reader is a leader and a leader is a reader. You must take courage for you to receive a crown. A planner is a winner and a winner is a planner. A thinker is a thinker and a thinker is a thinker. No destiny just happened by chance, but the product of active engagement. No, the vision is a picture of future to be featured in future. That word of wisdom, it's a picture of future to be featured. Is that correct? It is a word of encouragement. You recall my statement and when you make it, and you will come back for appreciation if you can follow my instructions. Is that correct? So how, that's how the lecturer's committee started, and that's how you saw everything that you see. It didn't just start uh, like a happening scene or like a coincidence. It was a deliberate, a deliberate plan and a deliberate attempt that I took. No matter the risk assessment that I face, no matter what I pass through, no matter everything that happens, I still make sure that I take a bull by the horn. I face the challenges to make sure that I meet it up. Please, I want you, I want to urge you to watch my documentaries and see what actually happens so that you can be able to put me aligned with the correct uh, uh, prepositions. Is that correct? So, as I've said, my name is Samuel S. O.K. A.K.A. The Lecturer, Comedy TV and Competent Lecturer. Fans and audience of the Lecturer Comedy TV, you all heard what he said, the word of encouragement. Work on your goals. Whatever that you know that is your view, is your vision. Don't sit, don't have a fault in any of your members, don't have a fault in your village. Work on your goals. Achieve it that one day you just make it just like a competent lecturer. Please, I want you to watch my documentary for your accurate information.